Hello and welcome back to another week at medical school. So this was my final week of the Easter holidays and Monday morning started with me and my mum driving to a lake. So we go on a run around the lake instead of around our local area, which was nice. It was lovely to see the wildlife. We even spotted a swan while I was running. I'm sorry about the wobbly footage. Um, I did stop running so you can see the swan properly. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a first year medical student studying at the University of Birmingham. I'm vlogging every week of my medical school journey, whether that be studying, playing games, exploring Birmingham and even more, so stick around if you enjoy. After getting back from the run, I showered, got dressed and made my waffles for the day and finished off the work I started the last day, so I managed to take two things off of my to-do list this morning, which was very satisfying. I didn't have long left at home, so I had to play the new Azul before I left again. This time I won, I was very impressed. And then we played Quacks of Quedlingburg, which is an amazing game if you haven't played it. Had dinner together for the last time before I went home, and then me and my mum drove down to Birmingham, played some games, and she stayed over the night, which was really nice. So we had a great time. My mum staying meant that she could do my shopping, so we stocked up so I had enough food for the month. We went for breakfast together because it was lovely to spend time with her before she left. So my mum took me shopping, which is very, very nice of her. And now I have some snacks, lots of little snacks. And we went, this is home bargains, not the food shop, by the way. So we went food, snacks, some boxes, because I need some more because mine are all a bit iffy now. Tissues, plasters, hay fever tablets, shaker vac, because you need shaker vac. And then some muffin tray, and a muffin tin, because I keep using other girls' muffin trays and I won't have that when I move out. And then these to fill my cupboards. So I'm going to do some organisation, because I did bring this basket home from home, and some more glasses, and mixing bowl, and trays, and things, and plates. So I'm going to try and organise this into the cupboard. And then I'll show you. So let me do it before. Before and after. So I got my new plate and my under the counter starter to put bananas, potatoes, chopping boards and lunchbox on because I never put my lunchbox away so I figured if it was out like somewhere I could put it so it was still away. That's it. I got these corn southern fried poppers from Asda this morning. They were on cheap because they were going off today so I've made those, some cheese and a cup of an apple because I'm not that hungry because we had a late breakfast as you saw. And I made my bed with my new bedding and my new cushion, I love it. And I packed up my sweets into a little mixing bowl and got my tissues out and I am all ready to start studying. My mum left this morning, she came and stayed last night which is amazing and we had great fun, we played lots of games, chilled out, went shopping this morning, she bought me loads of stuff, thank god. <laughs> um, and she was really, it's really nice that my parents are spending that money on me and um, helping me at university so I'm very happy about that. Um, and now I'm going to actually have to study, because <laughs> that's why I came home after all. So I'm going to get on with some work and do that. I'm tutoring half four to half five, lunch, not lunch, I'm having dinner half five till six and tutoring six till seven and then I'll probably do some more work but we'll see. I set out with my flashcards for the day and did some revision. It was very important to get the revision done this week because it was my first week back at university and I wanted to get as much done as possible. Working in your room I do not recommend because after I finished some of this revision I was very happy to just move on and pretend that I didn't have to do anything for the day. So today I did my respiratory medicine module work and did another PK video which is one of our main lectures for the module. It is now 25 past 4, I am tutoring at half past 4, so I've just logged on, uploaded the document, and I'm doing my flashcards until they show up. Then I'm taking a break, so it's 25 past 4 now, I've just logged on to my tutoring, and we'll do my flashcards till then, I've got my switch controller ready. Um, it's been very useful doing these with a switch controller, because I'm probably going to be walking around my room while I do these flashcards, it'll be very nice to get them done. And then... I am going to, between this sesh, this tutoring session and my next one, I'm going to do half an hour where I make food and eat food, then tutor for an hour. When I am doing my flashcards, I find it best to speak the answers, say them, write them down, draw them out, anything other than just sitting and thinking it in my head because it makes me process it a lot more and make sure I understand the content. 
I like doing my flashcards, but in an evening it is quite hard, but I managed to finish them at 5 to 10, so I went to bed. And I run already. See you soon. So I'm back from my run. I just got dressed, did my hair, or tried to. It's not that brilliant, but you know what? I don't care anymore. Um, so I got dressed, ready, packed my bag. Have not made my bed, but it's fine. I'm going to go to the med school. Is it even a surprise that my first week back at the medical school and university, I had to sit in my favourite spot in the library because it is the warmest with the sun right behind me and it's right next to the plugs. It is the best seat in the library, you cannot even deny. I started the day off with finishing off the work I did the day before. So the day before I did the head and neck and wrote out information sheets and labelled them and collected all the information together. And today I spent the first part of the morning making the flashcards relating to the content. I do this by screenshotting and sharing images across from my iPad to my laptop where Anki is. I then ticked it off my to-do list after I'd written the flashcards. I then moved on to my respiratory medicine module because it is by far the hardest module that I have. It is mostly hard because the concepts are quite physics based and I do struggle sometimes. But I'm getting the hang of it and going over the content in deeper in detail and doing all the content all at once has really helped me and I am making sure that I do everything all at once and make the flashcards straight after. I did have to charge my laptop because it began to die, but it was a really, really good day in the library and I got a lot done. This content, I did not finish that day, I think I finished it the day after. I then headed to the med school cafe to tutor online because I didn't have time to get home. I was going to tutor in one of the computer rooms which you'll see a lot in the coming weeks because they are rooms that are normally available for that sort of thing but unfortunately they were shut over Easter so I did not have time for that today. Okay so I'm home, I stay at the med school basically all day because I wanted to stay and then my laptop was like I'm on two percent and I was like oh no so I decided to come home rather than charging it through my other plug because my other plug isn't as high a wattage as this plug and I was like might as well swap it and I was tutoring again so as soon as I finished tutoring it was on two percent then I came home put it on charge and then started tutoring again because it was like half an hour later and I've just finished that session and it went really well I really enjoyed it and I'm I'm happy with the student I've got so that was amazing. I'm going to quickly write up the tutor's notes and then go and eat because I am hungry. And then I need to do my flashcards for the day because I've done them those, but I need to finish writing the flashcards from PK5. But it's fine because it's only half past five and we're gonna act like there's so long left because the run helped me this morning and I'm awake. When I am doing the respiratory medicine module, as soon as I've finished all the content, I want to write the flashcards as soon as possible. This makes sure that it's fresh in my mind and that when I learn the flashcards on that day, it will be refreshed again. I will then do that flashcard again the day after and it just makes it so much easier to keep the content fresh and in my mind. I then got to tick the PK5 off of my to-do list. So this is today's flashcards. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to change the settings because I cannot learn that many new cards in a day. Um, but hopefully some of them are easy, so I think I'm going to set it to 150 new ones. And then go from there. Okay, so I do not recommend this, but I have decided to do my flashcards in bed with Easter egg. Because why not? I don't want to sit on my desk anymore, and I am very tired. So I set 150 new ones, 236 reviews. It's kind of dumb. For those of you who have never used Anki before, it is a website that has a downloadable app for your desktop computer which allows you to make and do flashcards. It automatically schedules them so that you will see them frequently and over time as well as refreshing things you find challenging and it's a good way of spaced repetition and understanding and learning content as you go because memorization can be quite challenging. So this is me talking through my flashcards, not to the camera, don't worry, I didn't speed up the wrong clip, which is what I thought originally, I had to undo everything. 
but this is me talking through my flashcards when I'm exhausted because it was really late and I do not do well in an evening. I am definitely a morning person. So eventually I managed to finish my flashcards and get to bed at half past ten. So I'm up, it's half past eight now, I'm about to leave. Um, I got up, laid in bed for an hour, then breakfast, made lunch, packed it, so I'm all ready for the library. Healthy bag, um, so I'm gonna get going. If you are not already bored of these steps and those trees, you will be in the next few weeks because I walk this path every day and every morning I'm amazed at how beautiful the weather is, so you'll probably see it a lot. Then, shock horror, I settled into my second favourite seat in the library, which is opposite my favourite seat. This is because, one, there was somebody in my seat, so <laughs> that was too late, but also it is nicer here because the sun doesn't rise and shine on my laptop screen. So I'm just taking this moment to unpack my bag, I've got my whiteboard, pen, rubber, laptop, iPad and water bottle, all very important when you're studying in the library and to be honest, if you forget them, that is a really bad sign. I also set up some grapes, which are my study snack for the day. I then started an hour of flashcards. I started putting an hour timer on for these because if I leave flashcards till the end of the day, I get really, really annoyed when I'm lying in bed doing them. So I do an hour of flashcards at the beginning of the day if I have time. And if not, I will do it midway through the day. And then once I've finished that one hour, I will not do any more flashcards. And then move on to a new topic and as soon as I finish that topic another hour of flashcards because they keep refreshing the knowledge and they're very important for me to get done every day but I also do have a lot to do every day because of the intensity of the exam season right now so that's what I was doing tomorrow night. I also finally got to take another thing off of my to-do list and did some more lectures finished off some PAS work and went and had lunch in the med cafe with the pasta I made the night before I then headed out for the home. Oh, so I got back around five and then, well at quarter to five, rushed shower, tutored five till six, ate dinner which was chilli and cheese and then had some ice cream because why not and now I'm just lying in bed. I am going to meet somebody from my group when she gets back to her accommodation at Chamberlain and I'm going to be heading up there so I'm going to chill out until then because I've already done almost seven and a half hours of work today in the library um so i just want to take a bit of a chill break before i get on with more work with her so i'm just sat here editing my second week of easter vlog and honestly looking back i was my to-do list was so empty and now i'm like halfway through everything and it's like I feel like i've gotten nowhere but really i have because this was only a week ago really two weeks ago almost two full weeks ago but I've gotten so far and it makes me feel good about where I'm at right now. I ended up going to Chamberlain to help the other girl on my group project with the part she had been assigned. We got through it but it took a while so I didn't get back till half past one and I was really tired so I didn't really speak much. I just thought it'd be nice to get into bed, chill out and go to sleep. I set an alarm on my Alexa Echo Dot which is very useful and I would highly recommend having one because then I didn't have to remember to set them on my phone, I just set it with her and it made it so much easier. It was good to get the project work done and I'm very excited to tell you all about it in the coming weeks. I really needed a change in scenery so I decided to head to the main university library where I settled into one of the rooms to tutor online for an hour and I began some work in there until I had to leave because I had half an hour left in the room before I had to leave after I had tutored. It's really nice to have a go and I was watching more respiratory medicine lectures because I really do struggle with the content so watching the lectures again has really helped me grasp the ideas a little bit more. It was nice to get the content done and I highly recommend this if you need it. The main library rooms are very very useful for studying. It is Friday and I go back to uni on Monday so I've put everything in bold that I need to get done before we go back because I'm not going to finish everything by Sunday because it's just not going to happen so I need to do all of the bold before Monday. Walking back from the library now, it just went seven and I'm hungry. Oh, so I'm back, so right. <laughs> just don't mind my hair on my face because I just washed my face so my hair and face are a bit iffy 
So, I'm back from the library. I left at seven, so I tutored six till seven in one of the library rooms. Um, and then I came back, had dinner, burnt my garlic bread, burned my garlic bread, ate the rest of my food though, which was quite nice. Um, scalded my hand with some burning hot water from the pan, but I did put it under the cold tap, so it should be okay now. It's barely pink, which you can't even tell on the camera, so it's all good. Just after I burnt my arm on the oven this week as well, like, living the best life. Um, it's just stress and I'm not taking time and I'm rushing. So yes, I came back, ate, took the bins out, talked to my mum. Um, and now it's about to turn nine and I haven't done any flashcards today. And by any, I mean I've done six. And I was like, oh, I just wanna get IRM done, which is my respiratory medicine module. And I wanna get, I, I, like, you saw my list this morning. I wanna get the bold stuff done before Monday. And today is Friday, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. But we're trying to keep the balance between getting the work done and not burning out before I go back to learning at uni. Because if I burn out before the day back, then there's bigger problems going on. So, plan. Just exactly right now, turn from 2059 to 2100. I have 400 and odd flashcards to do. So I'm gonna walk around my room with my switch controller and do the flashcard. Guess who caved and did every single one of these flashcards lying in bed? But I did enjoy getting them done because it was nice to see that I'm actually remembering things. I decided against learning any new ones and just did all of my reviews for the day, which if you can see at the bottom, it's very small. I have a blue, orange and green number section. Blue are the new ones, orange are the ones I'm learning in progress and green are my reviews. So green is what I should know and Anything that I don't understand from green will move back into the orange and anything new will be in blue until I've finished it. Once I finish it on that day, it goes into orange and then disappears and becomes zero, which is why at the end of every day I should have zero, zero, zero in my flashcards remaining. I've officially done 9 hours and 11 minutes of studying today and this week as a whole, let's have a look. 33 hours and 31 minutes. And last week I had 46 hours and 52 minutes, so this week I need to do more because otherwise what have I done with the week? So tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. And if anyone's curious, I did 627 cards today and 705 yesterday. So a little bit less than yesterday. But honestly, it's later than yesterday and I'm tired. Saturday started with a slow cook of curry. I made my bed and got myself dressed very important for a good day studying and then I got on with the work at my desk I started the day off with my flashcards and started leaving it to the end of the day because when I leave it to the end of the day it always drags so long and I don't want to do it so I did about an hour of flashcards and it was very useful to see what I was doing wrong and I am now trying to make sure every day I do the flashcards in the morning but I'm gonna clean my screen or figure out how to clean it because look at Awesome. I managed to clean my screen and then spent the day with my flatmates so I didn't get to sleep till late but I didn't also didn't feel much. Sunday was a library day so I went from pajamas to dressed real fast, started with my respiratory medicine module because I wanted to finish PK 6, 7 and 8 today which I did manage to do as you can see I ticked off loads. PK 8 was by far the hardest one I had to do but I did finish it and I was very happy with it. I studied all day in the main library and in the medical school with my flatmates. We ended up having to get takeaway because we stayed so late and it was so much fun. But I did manage to take off the majority of the things I needed to do at the weekend and I was very proud of myself. Hey, it is 10pm on Sunday and I'm sorry there was no study time lapse this day. I just thought there was enough of those in the vlog anyway. So today I did my last of my respiratory medicine module work. I've not done the clinical lectures, but I have done the main lectures that relate to what we're doing next week and the week after. So I got the basics done. I also started the leg worksheet for tomorrow. And that's it. <laughs> because it took me forever to do those. And this week I beat how much work I did last week, which is good because that means I've put extra work in to get the revision done. And I'm excited to go back to normal university life and learning for the next two weeks. So I'm very excited. 
as you saw from the last clip, my to-do list is not very done. But let's see if I can get it done next week. So come back next week and see if I finish it. Thank you for watching the vlog. Please like, comment and subscribe to follow on with my medical school journey.